What are they doing? Oh my god, there's so many on their roof right now. Dude, they're literally, they're so common, they sat on our, they sat on the fob, dancing, looking at our base. Okay, here we go. What would you say if I told you this was not the first, nor would it be the last time I would be getting raided by this group of cheaters? And you guys know I take getting cheated on pretty bloody personal in Rust. It makes my blood boil. But the cheating with these guys was only the tip of the iceberg. I would soon find out I actually have a rich history with some of the members of this group, spanning over more than a year of playing on this server. Calling this an uphill battle for Gaz and I is almost a criminal understatement. I truly didn't understand yet what I was setting myself up for, it was 14 days straight of a cat and mouse between us and this particular group fueled by my undeniable stubborn need for absolute revenge, nothing less. But before we get into any of this, we would need to go back, back to the beginning. So strap in boys, this is a long and complicated adventure. We could go down there with um, Gaz. I can make a tier one and we can go down there with crossies, all three of us, and make a play. Yeah, I got back with like 200 stats just before in the roads. I got 220 on me right now, 230 cloth and 650 frags. Oh, guess what I just got? An MP5. Yeah, an MP5. Yeah, you know it. Loot thing. Oh, oh loot supply thing. door. Oh, new shotgun. LMG. Apparently, that thing's like really OP. And you could just yeah, repair it, it, right, guys? Or do you need to repair Yeah, yeah, it? I think we can just repair this. I think we've got a lot of scrap in here. So it's not a... Yeah. Yeah. We, we do have this crap. The main thing I wanted was the shoddy. For the middle Got him! Um, got a SAR. Right... Like, he, he killed me when, oh, when I was just leaving. And I almost killed him with a bow. Like, he's terrible. <laughs> then I just popped out the door and shot him with a... One time with the, H, with the HLMG headshot killed him. And he had this inventory on him. Look at this shit. Our wipe was off to a strapping start here, but what I haven't told you yet, this was not some freak accident that we ran into some cheaters that we have a rich history with. Oh no, we were given a tip, that there was a break off group from an old enemy and renowned cheater I knew named DJ, and Gaz killing this farmer right here was our first run in we had with their allies. We didn't know yet that they had allies, but we would soon find out how deep their alliances ran through every corner of this server yeah, this is crazy that oh yeah yeah someone's at mill doing it right now sa not not at mill sorry is a little bit beside it good one one more far we'll kill him he's breaking ammo I have none uh, he's coming out he's running toward mill Killed him. Killed them all. There's four dead people here. Yeah. MP5. C4! They were coming to C4 raid us. Ooh. Two C4. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. dude. Yeah. Uh, guys, you gotta just come loot this. Uh, actually, no, I got most of his guns. We gotta just beef up our base right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Literally coming to raid us right now. Maybe we just honeycomb it? These two names are well worth remembering. A smile and Hannibal. These two lived right next to military tunnels here, and we didn't realize it at this point in our adventure, but they were close allies with our main target that lives at F-16. We haven't ran into these guys just yet, but it was only a matter of time until their allies told them what had just happened to them, and they come over to take a look for themselves about the new kids on the block. So we decided we would need to beef up our base as much as we could, as quickly as we could. And we did just that. Um, before we get raided, I'm just using this scrap, by the way. Mm -hmm. Straight down that whole like building tree of like garage doors and shit. Mighty oh, yeah, up here on the hill on me. They are the exact same spot we killed them last time, Gaz. Uh, yeah, coming out. Three of them, they've seen me. I'm gonna start fighting them. I see him. Four of them. I'm just gonna get. Four of them, four of them. I'm running back. I'm running back toward base. I don't want to lose the Jackie. One's down, one's down. He's gonna get picked though. Oh, there's so many actually. There's more. There's two more closer to me. I don't yeah, even know. Way raided. closer to me. I walled up. I'm good. Can I get into base? Maybe, yeah. 
Headshot that one. He, he won four times. Yeah, I'm healing. There's one gonna probably come from this right side of this hill, I reckon. You might be able to just sneak back in a base, to be honest. Oh, I'm down, I'm down, but I'm... I'm, yes. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna respawn in base. I'm two on our base! Two on our base! Two on our base! Oh, he ran back. Oh, that guy, that guy rinsed me? I'm down. Oh, no, we there, there's one really close to our base still that we could kill. He's like... The others ran away and this guy's just like I chilling. Just need metal for it. Yeah, okay. I'm making meds and I'm about to go out. I need meds too. I killed him, I killed him. Full dead. I'm pushing. Yeah, birthday cake. I don't know where he crawled. Oh yeah, there he is. I got him. I don't know where yeah. they are, dude. Yeah, but I don't yeah, think... I think this is F16. Who's on me? On me? Uh, yeah, not me. Coming to you. Double one. One more. Pushing. Another one dead. One, one more further. You. Yep, one more further. At the train somewhere, guys. At that train somewhere. There's one. Tall trees. Okay, yep. Yep. Headshot. Hit him twice. He could be down. I'm gonna push. Stay up there. Care for any... Yeah, I'm staying up. Care for any crouching in, under the cliff. I'm down. Right. Killed one. Crouching under the cliff. Holy shit. At the tray. At the tree. Did I see him. Hit him once. Me. Twice. For some reason. Once. He's really Can't low. I see him just happen where I think he is. He's down, he's down, he's down. I'm gonna loot him. You loot the guys below the cliff. They're all together. Alright, I'm staying I up. can loot, I can loot. These are them. They were old, oh, dude. They were play they were placing bags to raid us, I think. They yeah, okay. We were honestly making short work of this group every time they tried to farm near us. But this is very reminiscent of when we would fight DJ so many months ago. With a few farmers being very bad at the game, but as soon as you push too hard, they would send the cheaters to try and take care of you. This might sound counterintuitive, but this is just what we wanted. I honestly wanted to push harder, force them into being very obvious with all of their cheats so we could easily get them banned. But first, we needed a base that we could actually defend, so I started on our main. This group will try and send a raid on us, though, eventually. But it, I don't know if they got AKs, because they, they tried to come raid us with SARTs. Try not go in the direction of that base. Like, where they were. Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. I reckon they're going to come over and raid us pretty soon, and you might get caught. Alright, I'm just going to set up our main pretty close by. It's not going to be anything special, but it'll be a little bit more secure than that. They're not just better fog right there on active. Yeah, they can. I'm gonna TC the shit out of all of that kind of stuff. It's not like the perfect spot, don't get me wrong, but it'll do, I think. Where do they live? H19, yeah. Uh, yeah, like G19 down on the water there. Alright, we can pretty much look at starting to move loot. It's not like fully built, but it'll do. It's more secure than our starter, that's for sure. With our main base well on the way and our loot more or less moved into it, we decided it was time to start poking them harder. We had not ran into F16 just yet and we didn't want to take them on until we had a completed main base. So we decided to stick to what was working and focus on their allies more than anything else. And the best way to get them in a resource chokehold would be to eliminate their access to military tunnels. So that's just what we did. Is that you getting yeah. first? No, no, I haven't. I'm leaving okay. base like now. Someone's getting spazzed. If they're getting spazzed, the Tommy, okay, they're, they're waiting above yeah, they're, the hole. There's a Tommy above the hole right now. You could go out the um, main. What I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Doubled one. Dead. I'm down. I'm down. Coming. Has he? I think they've just ran red. Yeah, he looted his friend right here. Hey. Yeah, that guy that I just killed coming back was his friend. Okay. I hear walking on water. I think it's AI. I think I heard him jump. Is that you? I'm jumping around on top of the... He's dead. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way that guy got away. I wasn't so surprised. Oh, he had red card, dude. I can't so loot did they it. run it? Nah, they haven't ran it. But they just had red card. And shit, and four fuses. I'm gonna leave his shit on, shit on his body. You gotta come loot it. I can't loot anything.
45 high call, first box. Oh, what a good box. Single armor door, double armor door. Oh, you got auto turrets at that. Yeah, Dude. it's suppressed as well, so they're not going to know where it's coming from. Yeah, yeah, true. That's actually really... That's... Yeah, that's really good, actually. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you wait till you see yeah, it. Yeah, why are you laughing? <laughs> wait till you see it's it. It's a man. <laughs> yeah, that's just, though, it's good. They're not like, going to know where that's coming the from. The fact he said it's suppressed, <laughs> they're not going to know where it's coming from. Do you have the metal you see? on you? They have no idea. Someone's Jackie farming above me. Oh, okay. I'm really gonna kill me. We're coming, we're coming. Keep on. Where, whereabouts, Gaz, was he? Where were you? When was oh, I was like near the elites. I think. I see him, three of them. Right. Uh, I'm gonna try and kill one. Where? I'm, I'm playing time. I'm hiding. I'm just gonna come out and help fire. Where are they? He was oh, on the rock. Back. Yeah. Three, there's three of them, by the way. Doubled one is dead. Hit that guy twice. Can you mid? Yeah, yeah, I'm playing. Okay, you're good, you're good. He's pushed that rock, yeah. I had, he's dead. So he hit twice. Yeah, yeah, I got him, I got him. Oh, God, he's gone. Oh, no, it's not bullets. Oh, they're so loaded. This guy's going to inventory farm. I'm looking he's for him. Headshot Headshot him. Hit him. Hit him again. Oh, he's down. I'm okay, here. nice. Okay, good job. Blix, this Where guy is, is, and it's our. It's not our Jackie. It's a different Jackie, I think. Oh, Same nice. skin, it's but Jackie. it's really high HP. This guy has your cloth. Really? Okay, nice. I see one. Wanna shoot? Yep. Both dead. Get out of here quick. Yeah, had MP- oh dude, they had so many spare guns on them. You could say we were making waves in our area, and bloody trust me, it didn't go unnoticed. We were getting scouted relentlessly, and for the first time we started to spot names that we knew for a fact belonged to F-16, meaning we had made enough attention for ourselves that their allies had to call over the suspected cheaters. But I really needed to push these guys to their limit to confirm my expectations, and I wanted to do just that. But Gaz and I needed to finish our main base before we went to bed. It was getting bloody late at this point. I'm just going to wave at him. Um, I'm going to get closer to him. He's got a sash on, so I don't really want to go out there. Snow, snow little. He was talking a second ago. I wanted, I wanted to talk again. I just down him. What are you cooking in there? What are you cooking? Definitely think what's happening right now is they're probably like pulling out that we're building up really quick and gotta come raid them now type thing. Yeah, they're either gonna make the decision to come raid right now or like just commit to the offline. Be like, ah, just let them build up. Yep. Just gonna offline them. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. See. I9, the I9 13900K or some shit like that. Some weird name. I haven't seen that go once. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm good though. No, no, it's, I don't think I'm ready. It's just some guy like trolling me while I'm trying to build my shooting floor. Yeah, it'll be them. Like, back yeah. annoyed. They, they probably have ladders on them ready to go in if they do kill you on the roof, by the way. Like, they seem to tie no, no, I'm, I'm in the compound, just chilling. But I made him wall. Did he solo? Oh, dude, this guy's so pissed. You could come up behind him and kill him. By the way, I'm... <laughs> dude, he's solo AK on our hill. Oh, dead. Good. I hear a mini. I'm killing. 
I'm killing and going up for it. Look free. Oh no, he looted his body already. He's gonna pick him up. He's about to pick him up. I'm just following. They're running to yeah, yeah. The guys actually running toward you with AK. I think they've spotted you, by the way, in the mini. Yeah, they have. There's more. Oh, I'm gonna just throw it somewhere. Just throw it somewhere. Just throw it somewhere. I died. I killed oh. a guy called O One Share or some shit like that with the M thirty nine. I think they were doing what you were trying to do. I was trying to say. I think they were trying to get me on timer and then like. Yeah, they had the mini waiting out. there with like a boom or something. They were making my job of actually building the base fairly difficult here, but I couldn't let them slow me down. I needed to get it done before we went to bed. Thing is, if they came over and just raided us right now, by the way, they would win 100%. And like, actually... There's actually nothing we could do right to defend. Now. They just came over with enough... Oh, I'm getting silenced right now. Okay, there's a guy up 280 on the hill. Bro, right, so you're getting suppressed, Oh yeah, I see right? him. I could... I see him, I see him. And come out and see if we can get him. At our starter, he's solo AK. AK suppressed. Yeah, at okay, our starter. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna depot, I'm gonna try to get that. He's at the top of the hill now. Like, bro, he just keeps... He'll like peek over for it. Here we go. Headshot him this time. Through this copious scouting, we managed to get our shooting floor and base completed, but it was 4am, and I was bloodshot eyed and barely awake. So was Gaz, and we decided to call it a night. It had been quiet for a few hours, so we thought, why not? So I'm gonna make sure we don't log off upstairs though. I'm probably just gonna kill, to be honest. Or oh, actually, I wanna yeah, see if we can. Uh, make wanna... sure we turn these fanners off. I might just quickly connect to Rust Plus, actually. Sweet, so I'll be told if I get slammed. I'm closing upstairs. Don't come upstairs. Yeah, this is all good. It's a shame because you just know the offline's coming, but I hope these little freaks don't bring enough, to be honest. Mm. I know you're probably sitting there in your chair right now thinking, how dumb are these two to go to sleep? But it was late and things had gone quiet for so long. You start to get tired when nothing's happening. But we'd soon find out that quietness was a false sense of security for us. Not 30 minutes after I went to bed, Gaz called me, telling me we were being offline raided. He was notified by him dying on the Rust Plus app, if you know how that works. I logged off for, I shit you not, about a minute to change my name and then log back in and sleep. And I died on Rust Plus while loading back in. That's how quick it was. No, I don't think it would have either. And one of them, by the way, is like... Giga cheating, like, I don't really know how to explain it, but one of them is like, just spinning on me every time I peek. Did they just like have our battle metrics up on a tab? I'm loading in. No, no, that don't make a difference, but still, I want to see. I'm just wrong. Yeah, no, there's, there is like not even winning this. I think if we were on, this is like, yeah, it's Oishi, Oishi, whatever it is. Yeah. Nah, they, they are hundred percent waited. I think like they had the boom on them. They came in a scrap early in like multiple minis, by the way. That's how deep they are. I have a bed in main. Oh shit, then you're lucky at me. I don't know. I think you're probably gonna spawn in amongst them all. I don't know which door to go through. So that door's up. Yeah, okay. Who's this guy? Get this guy's name, man. Wherever I spawn in the base, this he head, his name is Head. I'm reporting him. Wherever I spawn in the base, he W's to me and just comes around the corner and kills me. Like, no matter where I spawn in the base, what bag, what bed. Uh, I shot the main loot. I, I, I may have just saved the tier 3. Well, we at least have that. That's big. Yeah, I might have saved the tier 3, I think. Yeah. Oh, shit. They've caught it. They're on their way to corn. Yeah. And this one little... Oh, yeah. I, yeah, they just got to um, beds. So now all yeah. I've got to bag down in TC room now. I've got no it's more beds in the base. It's that, it's that i900 guy, like the K. Yeah, like it's processor. this whole group that was just scouting us. They had our battle metrics up. I oh, shit you not. It, it's, and it's not F16. even that. I'm pretty it's... sure it's just um, yeah, F16. I'm pretty sure it's, it would have just been their ESP. -er. Like, he literally would have ESP'd me sleeping on the ground, like the second I did it, and they would have built the fob. Jesus, look at that fob, man. Holy shit, look at that fob. Oh 
Bro, I was literally coming out of the starter and they all pre- Okay, they're cheating. You're 100%. I know. Right. Yeah. It's, it's blatant. It's yeah. like literally the most blatant shit as fuck. It wasn't even battle metrics. It would have just been ESP. -er. Look, I'll open this door right now. Yep, dead. Yeah. And now they'll rate that too, probably. Just just because we've just because it has our scent. Dude, he was like literally aiming. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay. You spawn in your no, he this is like insanely blatant cheating. Like We have a fair bit to unpack here, don't we? Firstly, they happened to raid us as soon as we logged off, after hours of being god knows where. Secondly, Gaz was adamant one of them were cheating, and well, I was fairly suspicious as well. Not only from some of their actions during the raid, but because who they used to play with. Let me remind you, DJ and half of his group got banned over a year ago, permanently, all for cheating. I have a whole video on this, but the gist of it is, these guys are well-known cheaters in the community, and there was no giving them the benefit of the doubt here. And what really confused me here was, if they are this deep and cheating, why wait until almost 5am to raid a duo? We'll find more out about this later on in the story, but for now, I was waking up with 3 hours of sleep to rebuild, and there was no chance I wasn't going to get my revenge on these good for nothing cheaters. Oh, okay. Store of tier 3. Some fish. Yay! Got a fish. This is everything Gaz and I could scavenge from the leftovers in our base. Not a lot, but enough. Also, before I get the thousands of comments saying, why don't you report these guys? Well, don't worry, I did, multiple times. And just remember, it took the admins almost over a year to find definitive evidence of DJ cheating. These guys aren't rookies by any means, and they're smart about it. This isn't a reflection on the admins at all. It's the Rust's current anti-cheat system and the tools it gives the admins. They need to be 100% sure someone's cheating before they ban them. And it really enables smart cheating groups like this to go unchecked in the game. You can almost bet every 20 man in Rust at the moment has at least one closet cheater. And these guys are no exception to that rule. Dude, look at their shops. They're so cocky. They're asking for a raid. Oh, I, oh, I hate them. The amount of loot we got yesterday in that small amount of time, like, we could do that again, get a shit ton of loot. Yep. Uh, 15 low grade should be enough. I, I need a bit of ammo. So, the next obvious question here is how the hell are we going to take out this group? Well, I had a few tricks up my sleeve here, and I was going to go to all sorts of scum behavior to come out on top here. Just keep in mind while you watch this video, you're about to watch me go to depths I've never gone to before to get my revenge. Things I would never do to a normal group. But these guys gave me a little bit of an excuse by cheating, and their allies were no exception either. Ooh. First mil tons run of the rebuild, and we get an AK. It's actually going to be really good. Really good. I honestly wanted to keep our rebuild low-key for a little while here, but it would only take them a few hours to catch on to what we were doing and come over to take a look. I wanted to show them they didn't set us back at all here, and we were still hell-bent on taking the fight to them. No, it's all definitely right. them. It's 100% them. One's got AK. Is he AKing you? Yeah, yeah. Down, AK. Okay, I'm almost I'm there. I'm here. I'm like really close. They're, they're probably hard pushing me, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, one's pushing you. I'm here. Is that you, Sar? Another one far. That, no, he, no, he's Sar. I'm M39. I'm behind him. I'm There's behind one him. pushing you. Behind yeah, you, right behind I'll, you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one right on me in a second. He's just jump peeking. Good, Sar. I'm one shot by a ball. Killed one. Killed two, killed two. Two dead. Okay. AK on me. I'm playing live. No, another one dead. Hit him four. Nice, that's nice, dead, dead, dead. Bolts are. Good job, good job. Bolts on the hill. I gotta run out and loot. There's no guns in base with ammo. I'm running out of loot. I can't see Bolt. I'm shooting at him. I can't, like, get up close to him, though. I'm 
W'ing while you're yeah, I'm W'ing while you're shooting him. He's reloading now. Hit him once. I'm getting under him so he can't pick over me. Dead it, I think. Finger nice. down. Sure. Yeah, you're dead, dead, dead. Yeah, he's down, he's down. They knew we were rebuilding, but we also knew they weren't at their full strength right now, since I was smart enough to take down all their accounts and their battle metrics IDs, meaning I would know the second one of them would log in or out real time, and I would be studying their login and log out times throughout the next few weeks. But that's for later on in the story. All we need to know right now is we need to get a crack on to get enough resources to defend ourselves just in case they came knocking earlier than we expected. We would need to survive at least a single night on the server to see our revenge come full circle. But we would also need a crap load of MLRS rockets. Yeah. I think they might have been raided. They probably would have stolen my base. Could have been. Honestly. Oh, I got a bolt, guys. I broke a bolt. Yay. And I got a 4x. Okay, yeah, you want to come pick me up in front of the uh, these things? Getting raided. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know. Whoa! Whoa you get stuff. Catfish. 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 What is that? Look at that. That's it. Get, get a, a fish mount. Fish mount. Oh my god. Yeah! Yo. What the f I can't read your face. So why did you put that look in my face? I've never seen this! I've never seen this! I can't read your base. With our trusty fish defending our base and most of all, AK gets crafted, it was time to turn up the heat. And F-16 weren't online just yet, but L had spotted their allies once again farming out near military tunnels, and we decided to kill them like we had for the previous day. One's at the cave entrance over here. I think someone's there, they're camping a team. Or yeah, yeah, I think they're there. camping someone in there, 100%. I don't think they've seen us. One someone right above me. Yeah, yeah, he's just ran back toward there, holding the vent e exit now. There's two holding the vent me. exit. They're close to me here, hold up. Cave entrance near me, at least a couple. Yeah, of they're running, they're running, they're running. On me, they're running hard. I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna cut yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You gotta shoot them. If you, yeah, yeah. If you cut them, then they all run towards me to get cover, probably. Just make sure you have cover. Good one. Oh, I got a headshot. I've, I'm gonna get, get pushed cover. hard here. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm Wing him hard. One dead. Uh, two one. dead. One's pushing my left. Yep. Yeah, that one. Four, four times he walled. Four times he walled. Got him, got him. Okay, all dead, all dead. All dead, all dead. It's yep. three. They're coming back already? It's them, it's them. After killing these boys, I did notice F-16 started to get online on battle metrics, and one of them spawned in their fob, and, well... He started dancing like a little rodent on top of it. He knew we were there, and he knew we were rebuilding. What the... Okay. I assume it's one of them, since it's on top of their fob. Yep, it's him. <laughs> the man himself. Right, this is not good. I figured it was probably a smart move here to raid this raid base and put down some of our own tool cupboards in spots we didn't want them to build. It wouldn't be great if they could build right next to us like they did last time. Holy shit. Wow. That's a lot of beds. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 beds. Oh, just a name. Okay. Eh, 
<laughs> He's born in there. Sam. Now, with our base looking just a tad bit more defendable, I went over to their base to get a closer look at what we were exactly up against here. A plan is everything, especially when you're going up against cheaters. You need a well thought out plan and you need to execute it flawlessly. What are those bunkers? Do they keep looting those? Hmm. Okay. Let's try and find a weak point. Okay, the external TCs are just sheet metal. Oh, these are flank bases. Oh, we have kits in every single one of these. Okay, that's interesting to know. Pirated armored doors in the front. Now this is their biggest weakness. It's hard to take it off. Might be able to get a bag in here actually. Room for one bag. Yeah, right here, right here. See this right here. 4C4, and we get them, we get their TC. 4C4, and we get a tool cupboard. We can just armor the tool cupboard then. I feel like it's in this back one. It has to be in this back one right here. Four C4, and we get it. Hmm, that's really good. Put it right there. They're protecting their hemp base decently. Now, at first glance, these bunkers are nothing too interesting. But if you've been a long time viewer of mine, you know the history behind these bad boys. And DJ used to use a very similar tactic in his old bases, which we were actually able to use against him to get a lot of loot. Now we could possibly do it again here. Okay, on that side there's not many. Actually, if you raided through, if you raided through that door, you'd be able to get into everything. The weak point is the hemp base side. The water side, technically. There was no, it's weak. Get from here. I could break all three Sam sites right from here. As you can probably guess here, my main plan of attack was abusing the MLRS system, and to do this we would need to break all their SAM sites, which honestly wasn't going to be too difficult with how their base was currently. If we caught them offline at any point or away from their base, we could easily run through their roof without any troubles, and I had no intention of giving these guys any inkling of fun like an online raid defense. They didn't deserve it. They were cheaters. And I was going to play the rattiest, most scummiest way possible to get any type of leg up on them. Now, with all that said, we couldn't only raid them. I wanted to make their time on the server a living hell, nothing less. So we killed their farmers and raided their farm bases any chance we got. Only 
main shit. Holy shit. It's two doors. That you above? Yeah. Oh, we're about to get, you might as well come back guys because we're gonna get a fight here. Maybe spawn I'm in your bag. Getting it. I'm getting a tier two kit. It's a farm uh, base. But line of sulfur, just grab the sulfur and shit. I'll break TC. In the right, uh, in, to the right, to the right. Okay, you good? You got the sulfur? Yeah, let's go. Let's run this way. See if we can get out. Ten of those, ten of those. I don't know. Yeah, I got uh, I'm gonna log off lower in the base. Yeah. Not that it matters, but Okay, closing game. See ya. Shall see you in the morning. Hopefully. See so how we go. See how our base goes. We kept the pressure on them most of the night and they consistently scouted us, but they never came over to online raid. However, this time I wasn't going to go to bed. I would stay awake even if I needed to take my eyes open. I knew what was coming and I would be as ready as possible. There was zero chance they were offline raiding me again. So I've just spent the past couple of hours just beefing up the base, making sure everything has a door on it, it's armoured. I think I've done everything I can at this point. I've just gotta wait. Oh, are they HVing out my turrets on the roof? Nope, they've just blown up my mini. Okay. Okay, this next part is a bit difficult to explain, but you're going to need to pay a little bit of attention here. They blew up our mini here around 5am, close to the time they had raided us the night prior. But they weren't coming over and raiding us, they were just doing nothing, which was kind of strange. It actually piqued my interest. Keep in mind, I was about three hours of sleep here. Things were not looking good for me mentally. But I played a little bit of a hand here. I knew they were ESPing, so they were probably sitting there just waiting for me to log out. And sitting in the same base with the same name would do virtually nothing. So I tried a little bit of a trick here on them. I killed myself in base, logged out, changed my name, and made sure never to spawn back in my base. And like clockwork, they were outside in a raid base within the hour, around 6am. The server popped was close to 35 people at this point. This was as offline as it gets. So I called Gaz and woke his ass up as well. Yeah. I'm online. I've, we've got time. I'm just on the shooting floor. So whatever you just said, my mark. Like okay, okay. Up, up. And then I lo I wake up and I hear AK shooting really loud, and I am looking at my PC dude. They have a fob set up right outside of our base right now, and sadly, the oh dude they're raiding from like the best side they could raid from. But they haven't even started yet. What are they doing? Oh my god, there's so many on their roof right now. Dude, they're literally, they're so common, they sat on our, they sat on the fob, dancing, looking at our base. Okay, here we go. They're dancing. Dude, do we, do we let, bro, do we let them get a bit comfortable, or what? Uh, we can let them, like, do a little bit, but these yeah. guys are pretty cra crazy with the boom. Yeah.
Okay, they've somehow seen me. I don't know. Okay. Are you shooting? No, not me. They're, they're double launching the base now. Yeah. The maybe like three more rockets, four more rockets, they're going to be peek into the last area. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to start killing. Oh my god. They're in. Can't kill one. Yep. I'm in compound with them now, is the thing. Like they're in it. They're in compound with me. Okay, I guess this is. The hell? Yeah, I just. I just <laughs> Good one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got like triple the second I peek. I think. Good I'm gonna give my body there. Dead. I don't know how he got me there. What? Yeah, okay, I'm good. Okay, Just I'm back. Trying to kill him. Yeah, yeah, I'm back in a sec. I'm the healing. I'm gonna start HPing him. Good one. HP him. Killed one. They tried to HP me. I'm sorry, I actually never stop a video mid-raid like this, but at the time I still had my reservations about them actually cheating, but dear god, looking back on this recording while editing, they are literally pre-firing every single time I'm about to peek an angle. I completely understand what Gaz was saying now, and keep in mind half of these guys don't even have night vision. This is actually disgusting. Yeah, I'm coming down, I'm coming down. They're like hard shooting the shooting port, so I'm gonna come down and try and play ceiling. Because I think ceiling's the only way we survive this. Where are they blowing at the moment? Killed that one. They're down there, okay. That's good. Killed no one. Nice. That's all my HPs. Joe, that guy. Oh, kill, kill, kill him. Come on, dude. I'm getting seals off. Good respawn, gone for the body. I got, I got, a, I got yeah. a seal off. I'm dead, I'm dead. I got a pretty decent seal off. I'm dead, I'm dead. One, one's kind of close-ish. They're, they're, I think they're trying to found you, by the way. Okay. I need you to come. I need you to come try and like rocket this guy. That's um, or grenade this guy that's rocketing right now. He's such an easy kill. I'm dead. I'm coming. Yeah, you gotta like throw grenades down the bottom. I think that's our best bet. I actually think they're trying to found you. We gotta like play the peaks and rocket people to them and shit. I'm about to go peaks with um, nades. I'm just gonna hang just watch out they're being, them. They're being freaked. That, that really, yeah. I, oh yeah. my god. You try and close that door if you can. If you get my HEs, you could HE them. I'm on timer now. Um yeah, thing like flying down the hole. Okay. Towards them. I'm dude, this is bullshit, man. Oh my god, I'm dead to a rocket again. Okay. This is it's so bullshit. I see where one's trying to... I fell. It's like all collapsing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just lost two of my beds. It's like yeah, this thing it's like found each. Yeah, just got <laughs> Dude, I literally... um. Oh, dude, I'm so sad. Players, though. Dude. Oh man, we were so close to like, I knew it was coming as well as just hoping we could hold out for another day. I'm so tilted. That's so sad.
I just go back to same man. This is over. I was kind of expecting a foundry, but I wasn't really like I don't know, man. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't think they'd be able to found it. To be honest, like I don't know. I know that they would be able to. I just didn't think they would found it. You know what I mean? Like. There's a lot to go over here, but the main thing I figured out at this point, there was no chance in us beating these guys in a head-on battle. Doesn't matter how much I wanted to. Just look at this shot into the shooting floor, it kind of explains everything. Without me even peeking, how would they know exactly where I was? We stood no chance here. Funnily enough, as well, as soon as I spawned in the base and got kitted to defend, they were dancing on top of the raid base looking at our base. Take that as you will. But they completely foundation wiped us. This is three days in a wipe and they had enough boom to do this. I was mentally broken, sleepless, and it was looking bad. But after a bit of a sleep, like I say in these videos, I'm sick in the head. I don't think you guys really understand what I mean when I say this. But this time, it was time to go underground, quite literally. In the name of saving time for this video, I've skipped over a lot of rebuilding here. But just know, I didn't take a day off rest here. I did nothing but sit here in my damn chair and think of all the ways I was going to bloody pillage these guys base. I also made a drop cave base, meaning it was six armoured walls to raid through. But let's be honest, that wasn't going to stop them at all. They had just foundation wiped our base. However, I was going to keep killing their farmers. Also, to quickly explain why you see Snowbell in our team from time to time here, he will play a much bigger role in our story later on, but for now all you need to know is he actually hates F-16 as much as us and knows they are cheating for a fact, so we decided to sort of team up with him more or less, but this doesn't really happen until much later, just ignore him for now. Like, yeah, there's a tower, but I think it's his base here, the one we were going to... I'm getting like... silent stats. Oh, from the right, two AK guys silencing me. AK's in the forest behind the tower. I'm just like aggressively pushing these guys. Yeah, so am I. I'm at the uh, truck. I'm at the truck. I'm on them. I'm on them, but like more left. There's yeah, like four. Give me a sec, I can he, shoot he, he, he walled. He walled. He walled his friend's body. There's like seven hit markers on a headshot between two people. I did down another. Killed one another one. At me. Yeah, I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. Another um, one. Aiming it up. He's not peeking. Or anything right now. I see the suppressor. One's just ru running, I think. Hit him once. There's still two, they're kind of running back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hitting I, hit, me I hit him three. I'm being. Ooh, ooh. I need to I run need back. To cover. Once. Twice. I'm trying to follow him. He'll run. Full cap. His friends push him on his body. I'm headshot hit. I'm one. Full kill another one? Full kill AK? Are you I don't suppressed? Know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's kind of on you. Full kill AK? I got under a cliff so I can push up closer. MP5's on me. MP5's last, um, I think. I've got 12 I'm bullets, bro. Sure. I'm just pushing. Yo, yeah, well, I think there's bodies back here near me. I got bullets if you need them. I got bullets. MG, there's three AK bodies on me I'm holding. Because this is... Oh no, I see the MP5 guy. Come back over to get the rest. Uh, but there's a oh, there's a bear that looks like it was aggroed into the cave, so definitely could be in here. Surely he can be dead. It's like snow at night time as well. Like he would have froze. No, he's not. He's not. We're good. I just wanted to make sure. Dude, I'm almost tempted to just pick up our shit and leave because I know we're gonna get offline by them again now. Because oh. we just got to get one battery fully charged before we get off. And then we just hook that battery up and hope to God that we're not offline in the morning. 
Now, the way we were going to ensure our cave didn't get raided through the drop down section was by having a charging base above the ground for batteries and connected to windmills. So we'd fully charge a battery above ground, take it down into the cave, hook it up with a bolty tight, and that would have enough charge to stay powered for a few days, making it near impossible to drop down and raid through the bucket drop. Not that they would need to anyway, but I thought I'd explain it. Is there, are you able to get one battery charging now? Just like really rudimentary? Mm, very close to it. Actually, actually like one or two stone nodes. Long story short here, for the first night, besides this single fight against their allies, we made sure to have zero interaction with F-16 or their allies. I just bided my time farming military tunnels for MLRS and sulfur for rockets. It was time to be patient. I had studied all their login and out patterns every day. And I found out their allies right next to Miltons actually had a four hour window. They were completely offline during this time, pretty much every day. And only one of F-16 group were online watching their base between this time on average. It was between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Now they had walled off this entire island behind their base and we were about to pull the quickest heist on them we could possibly do. There was no playing fair with these guys. It was no holds barred. Well here then, take this. Because I'll have to fly. Get meds and a grub, grub gun and come up. I think they're pretty shitty spots, those turrets. I sh should be able to get you on top of this. Oh, Careful, don't pick over too much. Oh this you should be able to get them, though. The old one's a bit terrifying. Have you had a look down and, like, had a look where you think the cheapest way to raid is? Like, any open doors type shit? Uh, no, nah, nothing really open. It's all pretty sealed, like, closed up. Can't really look at too much without a bolt coat and a compound shooting me. Sheet metal. Door. Oh. Locker. Probably has. Bielk kit. So I think it's down. I'm gonna try and go get through this garage door. How many HVs you got? Three, six, seven, and then I think there was one loaded in the other thing, so there should be eight in total. Okay, well we're we're into what looks like loot, we just need more rockets. Yeah, that that experiment will be enough to do it. Yeah, I thought we'd need more rockets, but I was doing a hoping ah, oh, I was hoping under tier two we'd get. Mm. Yeah. Like, someone's <laughs> outside the space, by the way. No, no doors have opened though, so I don't think it's a base owner. Probably the um, F Chinese, yeah. Now, sadly for us, the F-16 guy that was online alone noticed what was going on and immediately warned the guys we were raiding, and one of them got on quick smart, so we needed to get out of there as quick as possible. Oh, door's opening. Yep, yeah, okay. It's gonna be just above you. He's coming. He's coming from the from the hemp base. I'm it. I'm here. I'll give you this HV. Take this. Come on up. Hold with that HV. I'll tell you what we get. No traps. Okay, box of comps. Full kits here. Come put on a full kit. Box of sulfur. Oh, two volleys of MLRS, dude. Oh, dude. Guess what we got? Smokes. Put them there, up in the box above. Put on, put on metal gloves, the chew. I don't think he has a bag in that tower. 
but like, yeah, I don't think so either. Like I said, this guy's a moron, dude. I don't think he, he, no, he's he, up could, there. he could climb the tower. He's got bolt. Don't no, don't do anything. Far, don't. Like don't uh, no, no, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Don't do anything. Just don't even peek him. The smoke's down here. I'm just gonna smoke the heli and fly off. Oh, he's pissed. That should be enough, right? Surely. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Oh no. He's. Oh no. He's... He's just randomly spraying. He's panicking. He can't see. <laughs> we well, out. Yeah. Regardless, I got all the good loot. Like, there's obviously a lot of sulfur there, but I got their MLRS. That's what we really wanted. Two whole volleys of it. Put a door on. Oh, roof, roof, roof. Come on. He jumped off. And he sealed you, I think. I'm gonna just run in and grab Flame and Sulfur and then we just run. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I can. He's in his little tower. Yeah, yeah, I can smoke that again. We out. See you, buddy. We out. I oh, that was that. worth it, dude. That was so worth it. And that guy's pissed. You have been victimized. Well, that's four volleys now. They had let us survive a single night, and that had resulted in their allies being raided. It was a pretty good feeling after four days of back and forth with them. We had our first solid win, but at this point, they had another allied clan join the server. They were named JGS, which they would consistently talk to and ask questions about things in the chat. Oh, I've just thrown on my recording here for one second. Look at this in chat. This guy here is asking if their farmers are stepping on thunder landmines. They placed a lot of landmines around uh, H18, H19. They're allies of G19, so G16, F16 are allies, and this group called JGS are also allied with them, talking about other stuff in chat, like if I copy that text, what's he saying up here? It's okay, I told you on WeChat. They're talking through WeChat and all that kind of stuff. So I need to find where JGS live as well. <laughs> Sadly for them, JGS weren't so careful with their cheating, and every single one of them got banned a day or two after joining the server, so we didn't really need to worry about taking them out at all, just still had to deal with F-16. Maybe that'll, we'll, we'll count up our volleys exactly, we've got five aiming modules right now, and I'm pretty sure we have five volleys. We have two in here, and I, two and a half at the tops, and we got like two and a half here. At this point, we were like a fly to them that would just not go away. Thing is, these guys were nothing like their allies. They weren't dumb enough to flaunt their cheats resulting in them all getting banned, nor did they ever go offline. They had two separate people pulling 300 hours in the past two weeks. There is 336 hours in two weeks. Let that sink in for a minute. They were doing shift work on this server never going offline specifically because of what we did to their allies and they knew we were gunning for them. I knew they would find our base with ESP eventually. All it would take is one slow name change or them tracking our accounts enough and it was all over. But we did set up an MLRS base here keeping all of those rockets safe in it. So even if our main cave got raided, we still had those handy. And all we needed to do was break their SAM sites with fire arrows, and we would consistently go over and do just this, only for one of them to be on and our plans get foiled before we had a chance to blow up their base. <laughs> he's probably like a full sleep dude. Oh no, he's up there. Like he's probably like He sees us. Get ready to loot your body, I'm gonna loot your body. But they would lose a lot of scrap. It was 500 scrap per SAM site. This is nothing to laugh at, but they seem to have unlimited. This back and forth went on for almost a week. Just imagine, they had to stay up 24 hours a day waiting for me to try and offline them. And I would just wait patiently until my chance arose. 
I was definitely mentally traumatizing them. I was living in their head rent free. It's gone pitch black as well. I can still see the silhouette of the Sam. Just. Oh, that's perfect. Check your combat like see how much damage you oh. do or not. It's going even darker now. <laughs> Guess I say that. It's doing a pretty. Oh, he's coming out into the compound to the Sam. Now, after about a week of this back and forth, they did eventually find our cave and raid it. But the absolute egg for brains missed our whole second floor with, well, just take a look. Okay. Well. This is. Okay. So, these guys have come over and offline to my cave again. But. They missed the rock. They didn't, they didn't raid the rockets. They didn't raid the box of rockets up here. They didn't raid any of this. They missed all of this. Another offline raid. Said it happened at 6.30 a.m. How ridiculous, man. How ridiculous. Okay. Funny thing is, though. I have everything I need to get back at them. The thing is, in hindsight here, this is the best thing that could have happened to us. Now at this point they thought they had got rid of us, and they thought they were in the clear. They all completely logged off for the first time in like a week and a half. But they were not. I was still here, with my MLRS base intact, with all my MLRS rockets and my box of rockets in a vending machine. And so I decided to go over with Snowbell, who still wasn't raided, and one of his allies, and destroyed all of their SAM sites. There's one down on the roof. Come on, brave man. Okay, that one's broken as well. I would okay. Come in a herb. Hang on. I'm almost done. I've oh, my silence is broken. Whatever. I'll have to do it without a silencer now. Okay, Grim, could you fly the mini back to my cave? I'm gonna MLRS. Okay, it's gone. I think they're all gone. I'm gonna MLRS and we'll see how it goes. And then um, we'll have to um, grab the rockets from my cave and then I'll come up and jump in the mini. Zeus, just take loot my body here. I'm just gonna kill on the tower. Oh, uh, we have uh, one aiming module with us if you need. No, 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 no. I got, I got everything sorted. Okay. I got all, I got so much shit. Coming in now. Now, luckily for them, this all happened a day before JGS got banned. So, sadly, they went on to WeChat or whatever they called it and told F-16 what was happening to their base after the first MLRS barrage, and one of them got on. Yeah, he just got, literally, as soon as we used the MLRS, he got off the other server and got on here. Because they'd been on another server the whole time. Wait, 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 someone is out. Yeah, th this is him. Lynn Boyle. Hold up, let me see. Um, okay, I'm dead. Someone is camping out. Yeah, Chinese. Uh, yeah. They, they were destroying that twig from the roof. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep rocketing. I got another MLRS coming in in a second here. Killed him. Oh, they place one Sam. Two, three, three Sam. Four Sam. They place four Sam. Oh, all on That's the road. They place four Sam. The story goes on. I will wait for them to log out. I will wait. I don't care how long it takes. I will wait. 
I've got a box of rockets sat here waiting to raid their base. So, and you've got a mini now, right? We had a few key victories here. First of all, I destroyed all of their vending machines, meaning a third of all of their loot in each one of these got deleted, meaning around 40 diesel and a third of a box of rockets got deleted from their roof. And most importantly, the thing I cared most about, I was living rent free in their head. The cave was raided, so how did I come back and get them? I just would not go away. They already had two people pulling 20 hour shifts a day on the game. God knows one of their PCs were borderline about to blow up. So every day I would just sit there and watch their battle metrics between whatever I was doing throughout the day. And like clockwork, the second they all logged off, I would go over and start offline raiding them within a 15 minute window. But alas, one would always get on just in the nick of time. But I could do this all white, technically, if I had to. They had to be on all the time at their PC ready for me. But I could just go live my life and log in once every few hours just to keep them on their toes. This was honestly the most brutal thing I have ever done in Rust. You guys have no idea. This is just, just disgusting. It makes me sick. Right. Is that all? Is that broken? Oh! Oh, he's so bad. He's so bad. He didn't kill me. Oh my! Oh, okay. He might kill me though. He's gonna. I dodged it. <laughs> uh, they, uh, they have to keep replacing that if they want to play. Uh, dude, what's his name? Jump. Oh, it's broke. Oh my god. We're pulling each other. Dead? I got him, I got him. Let's keep breaking. Uh, I'm down, I'm down. Killed him. Killed him. Okay, sorry, I was just trying to... Killed him again. He just HP'd me, no! Now, this whole situation came to a boiling point eventually, after about, I would say, 13, 14 days of us going through this back and forth, from the very first day we versed these guys, to now. And, well, one of them finally started talking to me in English, only to finally admit he had a second account to cheat on. Didn't really matter to me, because I already knew they were cheating, and so did everyone in the server. So, I gave them an option. Either stay on the server, 24 hours a day, like they had been, driving themselves mentally insane, or despawn all of their loot and log out. I did not care either way. I didn't care about the loot. It was about mentally traumatizing these little freaks. And well, I have to say, this is the first time I have ever held a clan so hostage that they would rather despawn their loot than keep playing on the server. I made their lives that unenjoyable that they all quit. To be fair, after the first few days of this back and forth, most of them had already quit. It was only two accounts keeping the struggle going against me. This honestly might be the most disgusting thing I have ever done in Rust, and by a long shot, but I hate cheaters. And no, if you ever cheat against me and I can't get your ass banned, I'm going to have you wishing you were banned from the get-go. Also, I doubt this is the last time I run into these guys. Oh well, 100% it won't be. I'm sat here right now tracking the servers they are playing on and plotting what I'm going to do to them next. I hate DJ and I hate cheaters. Good luck boys, you're going to need it.